Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Super Ball Ages Hollywood Show now here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. And it's time to go and promote Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman from level 50 normal to level 50 elite 7. So let's hop into Injustice Gods Among Us right now. Alright, so as you can see, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman at normal. 8,613 damage, 20,412 health, which is pretty impressive. Even though it's 1,100 damage and 1,400 health for the car. She'll toss unpromoted 1,722 to 3,445. Fires of Hephaestus 5,253 to 10,421. And the Justice Javelin 12,919 damage. So for promoting a normal to elite one, damage goes from 8,613 to 12,920. Health goes from 20,412 to 30,618. So at Elite 2, she'll, or Elite 1, she'll toss 2,584 to 5,168. Fires of Hephaestus, 7,881 to 15,633. And the Justice Javelin, 19,380 damage. Promoting up to Elite 2, damage goes from 12,920 to 17,226. Health goes from 30,618 to 40,824. She'll toss at Elite 2, 3,445 to 6,890. Fires of Hephaestus, 10,507 to 20,843. And the Justice Javelin, 25,839 damage. So promoting up to Elite 3, damage goes from 17,226 to 25,839. Health goes from 40,824 to 61,236, which is almost as good as Ares. Shield Toss at Elite 3, 5,167 to 10,335. Fires of Hephaestus, 15,761 to 31,265. And the Justice Javelin, 38,758 damage. Promoting up to Elite 4, damage goes from 25,839 to 30,146. Health goes from 61,236 to 73,483. So at Elite 4, Shield Toss 6,029 to 12,058. Fires of Hephaestus 18,389 to 36,476. And the Justice Javelin 45,219 damage. So promoting up to Elite 5, damage goes from 30,146 to 34,452. Health goes from 73,483 to 81,648. Shield Toss at Elite 5, 6,890 to 13,780. Fires of Hephaestus, 21,015 to 41,686. And the Justice Javelin, 51,678 damage. So promoting up to Elite 6, damage goes from 34,452 to 38,758. Health goes from 81,648 to 91,854. Shield Toss at Elite 6, 7,751 to 15,503. Fires of Hephaestus, 23,642 to 46,897. And the Justice Javelin, 58,136 damage. So promoting up to Elite 7, damage goes from 38,758 to 43,065. Health goes from 91,854 to 102,060. And we did get an extra card because of the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman pack. We only had to buy one, considering we did buy one early on. That gave us three. The challenge gave us six altogether, and we only needed two more, but we got one. We got three out of the pack. So Shield Toss unpromoted 8,613 to 17,226. Fires of Hephaestus 26,269 to 52,108. And the Justice Javelin 64,597 damage. So the Shield Toss ranked to 9,474 to 18,948, 10,335 to 20,671, 11,196 to 22,393, 12,058 to 24,116 for rank 5. At rank 6, 12,488 to 24,977. At rank 7, 12,919 to 25,839. Rank 8, 13,350 to 26,700. At rank 9, 13,780 to 27,561. And fully upgraded, 14,211 to 28,422. So the fires of Hephaestus, 26,269 to 52,108. 
ranked to 28,896 to 57,319. At rank 3, 31,523 to 62,530. At rank 4, 34,150 to 67,741. At rank 5, 36,777 to 72,952. Rank 6, 38,090 to 75,557. At rank 7, 39,404 to 78,162. At rank 8, 40,717 to 80,768. Rank 9, 42,031 to 83,373. And fully upgraded 43,344 to 85,979. Not quite as impressive as Dawn of Justice Batman, but still pretty good. Justice Javelin, unpromoted, 64,597. Rank 2, 71,057. Rank 3, 77,573. 17. Rank 4, 83,976. Rank 5, 90,436. At rank 6, 93,666. Rank 7, 96,896. At rank 8, 100,126. Rank 9, 103,356. And at rank 10, 106,585, which would barely knock out an Elite 7 just, or Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman without any promotions and if you don't defect. Now, the Sword of Athena Wonder Woman Special Attacks trigger Team Health Gain, which provides 50% of Special Attacks damage in healing. So, pretty interesting combination there. Now, the best gear to actually use with Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, you can use the 4th World set. It's pretty good, considering that you get a ton of healing for yourself, and you can heal the entire team. But, you could also use straight damage gear. You could also use the double Lex Corp. And actually, I think that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the double Lex Corp with the Ibisic. And the reason we're going to be doing that is because the level 2 move does do a little bit better. And Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, you can no longer knock people down and then throw a shield at them. I guess they figured it was too strong to do that. So we're going to go into the Star Labs. And the reason for that is we can actually compare stats a little bit easier. So we're going to sort by damage. So you can see Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman comes in behind Ares, who has, I believe, 1,200 damage. Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman has 1,100 Dark side, I believe, has 1050, and then the Arkham Origins have 1000. So, as you see in damage, in fifth place, as far as health goes, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, even without augments, beats Red Sun Superman. Superman Max Augment. I believe they actually have the same Wonder stats. Woman. Yes, they do. So, unaugmented, the 200 extra health that Red Sun or that Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman has actually gives as much health as an augmented Red Sun Superman. So we're going to go into bonus battle 6, and the reason for that is we're going to show off a couple special moves from Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. So we're in the final battle here. We have Kandak Sheik Ahmed Habibi. We're going to throw in Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. We're going to throw in, let's not sort by damage anymore. For these couple of fights, let's not sort by reverse name. Let's throw in Batman, and let's throw in good old animated Harley Quinn. So we can properly test out some damage. So we're going to give Harley Quinn the entire fourth world set. We probably don't actually need the three piece. Could just double down on power generation. But we're going to use this setup anyways. Harley and Quinn. for Batman, Batman, we are going to give him. Let's give him Ra's al Ghul Scimitar, the Gauntlets of Azrael, and the Blade of the War God. Not really a good setup, but why not? Batman. We can do that. Alright, so in the first test fight, we have Regime Wonder Woman, Prison Superman, and Insurgency Batman. Begin. Now, the main strength of Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, obviously, is the ability to give a lot of health to people if the opponent does not block the special. So that shield us block for 4750. We're going to have to deal with another one, and unfortunately... We do have the Resurrection, so that's good. And we get the damage boost. So, Harley Quinn in bad shape. We're going to get to two bars. The Lex Corp chest plate does give critical hits on base attacks. So the Lex Corp helmet gives you crit chance. So, Fires of Hephaestus is not blocked. And you see the massive amount of healing that came out. So, Harley Quinn is back to full health. We're just going to blow this bitch up. 
So 6643. Saw the level 2 movement action. There's the shield toss. And even that was a pretty strong heal at 16,000. So some pretty powerful effects here. You can also throw in Justice League Wonder Woman and gain some additional power that way as well. I believe you get a half a bar. And it does work with Wonder Woman too. Now the cool thing about Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is she has that multiple hit combo in her so you can actually combo out the like Rosh Al Ghul Scimitar and we could actually try that in the next fight. So we're going to get off the Justice Javelin and see how much damage Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman can do with her super move and then we're going to do a couple fights in multiplayer. 208,262 damage for the victory. 3,088 XP, 4,830 credits. As you see here, we have three extra cards for Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, and we have not recorded Nightmare difficulty yet, so altogether we will have 12 cards for Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, and that's really good in case Elite X ever does come in the future. So now that you guys have seen the promotions for Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, we're going to be doing a five battle matchup in multiplayer, and this is the gear we're going to be using for Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. The whole reason behind it is... She's going to come in and do her special 1 and 2, and the Ipa Stick will give her more damage on both specials, and if we use special 1, the League of Assassins of Death Knives does do some work. Now the thing about Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, she's the only card in the game that got her shield toss change, and let me tell you, it is definitely not for the better. And if the Fire of Festius is blocked, it pretty much doesn't do much damage at all. So we're going to use the same team that we used with Injustice 2 Aquaman. We're going to do a five battle epic matchup. If we can't recharge, we're going to just spend two energy as we've been pocketing quite a bit. For the first matchup, we have John Raspin going up against Arkham Origins, Batman, Arkham Knight, the Arkham Knight, and Luchador Bane. So you can see the bullshit stun mechanics might be in effect this fight. Begin. So we're going to get in Red Sun Wonder Woman to block the Winged Avenger for about 15,000. Now, most people usually do gear up the Arkham Knight offensively, so I don't know exactly how well Wonder Woman will do against her. As you see, 53-24 in basic damage, and yes, the Arkham Knight does have some basic damage. So the Tortured Soul is blocked, and we've got the Fires of Hephaestus. As you see, it got blocked for about 24,000, and does have the Gauntlets of Azrael, or the Rasha Ghul Scimitar. So as you can see... Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, in my opinion, is a terrible card, whether you got her geared properly or not. This obviously is not geared up properly. It's mostly to support the Red Suns. As we tried using Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman in a primary role before, and let me tell you, the card is absolutely crap. Like, it is definitely the worst of the three Dawn of Justice cards, which is a shame. We got the Shield Toss, which gets blocked, so 2,000 damage. About 10,000 damage altogether from that. So the Arkham Knight with the Gotham Knight destroys Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman like nothing. And thank you, Rassel Lover, for the like on Instagram. So the Arkham Knight doing work with the Rasha Ghoul Scimitar, but we're going to get rid of him with Red Sun Wonder Woman. Luchador Bane cannot stun the Red Sun. That is a huge deal because Luchador Bane, instead of coming in and doing a special, got destroyed for the victory in the first fight. 12,480 XP, 5,000 battle points, 900 credits, and you can see how much more fluid Red Sun Wonder Woman is in my opinion. So in the second battle we have Max going up against Injustice 2 Aquaman, Justice League Wonder Woman, and Injustice 2 Superman. This is actually a pretty good way to pair up the cards because Justice League Wonder Woman, when using specials, will give both cards half a bar of power. Superman. So Injustice 2 Superman has a weird setup here. Why would you do that to Wonder yourself? Woman. And two-piece LexCorp along with League of Assassins dot knives and regular damage gear on Injustice 2 Aquaman. So Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman will probably get ripped up by basic attack, but we'll see. Aquaman's Attack combos are pretty clunky. 91-34. And yes, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is getting ripped up. That shield toss again blocked. Thank you, Ray or not, for the like on Instagram. Appreciate you, bro. So there's the bullshit stun mechanics and 40,000 damage from the League of Assassins and Death Knives. So as you see, Justice League Wonder Woman putting in some work. But luckily the team is not going to have much luck healing so Red Sun Wonder Woman can clean up but again as you see Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman got destroyed by bullshit stun mechanics. 
which is why I like to use the Red Sun team in multiplayer, because if I was not, this fight would already be over and there'd be no chance of winning. I'm going to go off the Guardian and heal up Green Lantern. That's a nice heal as we hit for over 60,000. Thank you, Scarlett Johannesson fan page, for the like on Instagram. Appreciate you. So, Green Lantern goes down, but Wonder Woman with the fourth world is going to be extremely difficult to deal with. And there's really no healing on this team, so Wonder Woman should clean up these guys pretty easily. Down goes Aquaman. So, Justice 2 Superman is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, because you can't damage him on the first special. Luckily, he doesn't have much healing. Thank you, Mikey's Box, for the like on Instagram as well. Appreciate you, bro. Now, in this situation, it seems very tempting to just use a special, but we're still waiting for Wonder Woman to come in. We want to basically just get rid of her. And there's the Goddess Blessing. That does resurrect Wonder Woman, but that's not enough to get rid of her, so we're going to Shield Toss and get rid of her. Now, the Stay Down, because it's blocked, is only a two-hit combo versus four. So Injustice 2 Superman did block there. So there's the Absorb. Now we're healing up. Because there's no three-piece LexCorp, Superman by himself, there's no way he can deal with Red Sun Wonder Woman. And Fourth World Gear is definitely overpowered in my opinion, as is the League of Assassin gear. The knives are ridiculous. Down goes Injustice 2 Superman for the difficult victory in the second fight, and Dawn Justice Wonder Woman did absolutely nothing. Thank you, Panas Kalaitis, for the like on Instagram. Appreciate you, bro. 12,900 XP, 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. So in the third battle, we have DOJM going up against another Injustice 2 Superman. Looks like he's geared for basic damage. Arkham Knight Batman and Injustice 2 Aquaman, who also has damage gear. Arkham Knight Batman has... Bullshit stun mechanics. Alright, so in the third battle, we have these guys. Begin. This is the Kryptonian Fortitude. 10,000 damage on a heavy attack. Again, Donna just as Wonder Woman getting destroyed. But you see that Wonder Woman is not hitting as much, so that is going to take off the Absorb. I'm going to go off the Shield Toss. Thank you, Depp Boy, for the like on Instagram. And we have not had a Shield Toss not get blocked. This is why I think Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is a piece of crap, because her Shield Tosses get destroyed. And everyone has been blocked. You can't chain it into a combo. So, yeah, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, in my opinion, is a piece of garbage. Do not promote the card if you don't already have her Elite 7. It's not worth it. Go promote other cards. I don't even think Injustice 2 Aquaman is worth it. And there we saw a stun by Arkham Knight Batman, which would have killed Wonder Woman, Dawn of Justice, but because it's Red Sun Wonder Woman, you can't get stunned with Green Lantern. And thank you Memo Vasquez 89 for the like. And again, no shield tosses have gone unblocked. So are you really getting much value from Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman? The answer is no. So we can't really do much to Injustice 2 Superman here. We can just kind of work our bars up. Not even worth it to actually hit them. Well, it is to get power, but it's not worth using specials on them. Not until you get rid of the other two. Flying Punch blocked for about 7,000. There's the Oceanic Depths on Wonder Woman. That is really dangerous. I have to play a little more conservative, but Aquaman is gone. Now at this point, we can actually do a special. So we're going to get off the fires of Hephaestus. This one looks like it connects, so there we go. Healed for about 35,000. We're going to go off the Beware My Power and try to get rid of Injustice 2 Superman. That does not get rid of him, but he is a critical health. There's the Arkham Assault, which gets partially reflected. Shield Toss blocked for 11,000, so he's got no blocking gear. But I think he's just got stun on tagging mechanics. Down goes Arkham Knight Batman. Flying Punch does heal Injustice 2 Superman. That 
I would have got the shield toss. That one is not blocked. So Injustice 2, Superman gets eliminated. And you see the 14,000 health heal. And that would also damage the opponents for that same amount. 12,480 XP. 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. So as you can see, when the shield toss actually connects, it does do pretty good damage. But when it, when any of Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman specials get blocked, it's absolutely crap. So the fourth battle, we have Chris 116 going up against Arkham Knight, the Arkham Knight, Apocalypse Dark Side, and Arkham Knight Batman. This is definitely a funsy team. But as you can see, there's a lot of damage gear outside of Arkham Knight Batman. So, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is at one bar. And we're going to go off the of Festus. If Arkham Knight does not block, that is going to get rid of him. So, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is getting some value this time around. Arkham Assault is going to destroy. No chance of surviving there because of the crit mechanics. Thank you, Sean Toady, for the like on Instagram. Appreciate you as well. So it looks like LexCorp is on Batman. You can't stun. Even if we had that mechanic. There's probably going to be fourth world. Did not see a heal on Darkseid. That's really good. That rocks Darkseid for 56 dollars If the Guardian is not blocked, and it is blocked, so it is mitigated. Looks like he might have two-piece fourth world, and there is a stun on Tagin. That does not work. So he did get another Lex Corp heal. That kind of sucks. But yes, one of the problems with Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is you cannot chain the shield toss. That's a really big deal. So Apocalypse Darkseid is in, but no way to really heal outside of life shield. I don't see how he can win this fight. Well, that healed for 13,000. Wonder Woman can just heal that right back up like nothing. So another stun gets diverted and does one damage. Batman up in the air. You're not up to this. And we're gonna go for a Guardian. So Batman goes down. This will not connect on Dark Side. Mega Blast connects on Green Lantern. We're going to get in Wonder Woman, who gets the stun. Down goes Dark Side for the victory in the fourth Face fight. You're done. Twelve thousand four hundred eighty XP. Five thousand battle points. Nine hundred credits. So in the fifth and final matchup, we have jo Johnny P going up against Injustice Two Superman, Dawn of Justice Batman, and Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. I'm not sure why you would keep Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. I can get substituting Injustice 2 Superman because that is a much better upgrade than Dawn of Justice Superman unless you connect on a Shattering Blow. If you connect on a Shattering Blow, it can have some devastating effects on whoever has Fourth World. So, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman getting rocked by Batman. And the shield combo can even work on Dawn of Justice Batman so you don't fear it as much. Batman even getting beat down. It looks like he's got... Now, Justice 2 Superman has 4th World. LexCorp, I believe, on Batman, but I don't think he had the dot damage from somewhere. So now when Dawn of Justice Batman comes in, we have to get off the super move by Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. And speaking of Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman, we cannot let her get off the special and get a good heal. I have to play a little bit defensively. Fires of Festus does not heal very much when it gets blocked. And we could have just prepped a super move. Not a big deal as it does not get blocked. I don't think that's enough to get rid of her. Yes, it is. So Gotham Justice is blocked. And we're going to go off the Justice Javelin. We'll see if this is enough to get rid of Dawn of Justice Batman. That is enough to get rid of him. That's a big deal. So we're going to shield toss and hope he doesn't block. And he does not block, so his immunity is gone. Flying Punch does connect. And we're going to need the Ibis Stick from Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. Just to negate the fourth world healer. 
Face it, so it does heal for a decent amount. And you can get some decent heals with Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. The problem is you cannot combo a shield toss from the ground. Luckily, it does do a little bit more damage. And it looks like there's even a heal from the Ibis Stick for a chip, so that's kind of weird. So if the opponent's burning, it looks like the Ibis Stick will also heal. There's another shield toss that connects. You're not up to this. Green Lantern at two bars. Flying Punch is blocked. Took off the Guardian on Injustice 2 Superman, and that is not blocked, so that's going to put him pretty low on health. Took off the By the Gods. That is blocked, so that's probably going to save him from resurrecting. Face it. You're done. The deflect spam is real. There's the resurrection. Now, this is not blocked. Yes, it is. So it doesn't even do that much. Although it will burn. And we have one more shot at it. So we're going to go off the shield toss. And Injustice 2 Superman does get eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 12,480 XP. 15,000 battle points, 2,700 credits. So as you can see, Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman is more of a support card than Red Sun Wonder Woman. Red Sun Wonder Woman with the Shield Toss Chainer can be used as a primary damage dealer. And I still think Red Sun Wonder Woman, despite the much lower stats, actually performs better than Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. And who doesn't like 45% power generation? If you like this video, showing off it, the Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman card at level 50 Elite 7. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona. And how do you guys like the Blue Yeti microphone to record the second half of the video? Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shona. Subscribe, bitches!